Paul traveled through Macedonia, speaking many words of encouragement to the people, and finally arrived in Greece, where he stayed three months. Because some Jews had plotted against him just as he was about to sell for Syria, he decided to go back through Macedonia with Timothy and some others. Paul stopped in Philippi along the way, and caught up with the others at Troas later. Paul stayed with the believers for a week at Troas, and the night before he was to leave, he kept talking and talking to the people until midnight. Seated in a window was a young man named Eutychus, who was sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. When he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story and was picked up dead. Paul went down, threw himself on the young man, and put his arms around him, saying, Don't be alarmed, he is alive. Then he went upstairs again and broke bread and ate. After talking until daylight, he left. The people took the young man home alive and were greatly comforted. Paul had decided to sail past Ephesus to avoid spending time in the province of Asia, for he was in a hurry to reach Jerusalem, if possible by the day of Pentecost. Paul sends for the Ephesian elders, and when they arrive, he says his goodbyes to them and tells them that the Holy Spirit is leading him to Jerusalem, and that he doesn't know what will happen to him there. He blesses them and warns them to be on their guard against false teachers who will try to take over their group. Everybody wept when Paul told them that they would never see his face again, and they walked with him down to the ship where he boarded and sailed away. They then sailed to Kos, then Rhodes, and then Patara, where they switched ships and sailed all the way south of Cyprus and land in Tyre. The disciples at Tyre urged Paul not to continue on to Jerusalem. They all prayed together on the beach, and then Paul and his companions set sail for Ptolemaeus, and then on to Caesarea. There they stay with Philip the Evangelist, who was one of the original seven chosen by Jesus' disciples to take their place in serving the Greek-speaking Jews. Here the text mentions that Philip had four unmarried daughters who prophesied. After several days, a prophet named Agabus comes down from Judea. He takes Paul's belt, ties his own hands and feet with it, and says, The Holy Spirit says, In this way, the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem will bind the owner of this belt and will hand him over to the Gentiles. The believers then begged Paul not to go to Jerusalem, but Paul tells him to stop crying and breaking his heart, saying that he is willing not only to be bound, but to die for Jesus. And they set out for Jerusalem.